Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching another video. Now if you own a knife with a serrated edge like this one, you might be wondering how to sharpen it. So today I want to give you some reasons why the Smith Diamond Sharpening Rod is the perfect solution. And as always guys, if at the ending of the video you want to purchase this diamond rod sharpener, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Alright, let me get you guys a size reference here. Lengthwise, it's about the same length as a Sharpie. I'll turn it around this way so you guys can have a look at it that way. Alright, now to take out the sharpener, you just undo this. And I'm just going to fit it right up to that collar. And once you tighten it down, that doesn't go anywhere. So lengthwise, compared to a Sharpie, let's get it on the scale. This should hardly weigh just about nothing there. Coming in at 1.2 ounces, that's almost as much as two AA batteries coming in at 1.7 ounces. Now, if you've never used one of these, it's pretty easy. It's tapered, right? So it's thicker up top, tapers down to a bottom, and that gives you the ability to sharpen different sizes of serrations. Like, here's my utility knife compared to the bread knife. So you can sharpen different sizes of serrations. And use is very easy if we pretend that my knuckles are the serrations in your knife. You're just going to rest the rod down, and you can go from bottom to top or top to bottom. It doesn't matter. You don't need a lot of pressure. You're just going to find the right angle push and rotate the rod around so you're not flattening out and using just one portion of the rod. And I find it easier going from bottom to top so you can see that angle better, but not a lot of pressure, push up, rotate, very easy. Some of them also have a groove for sharpening fish hooks, so you would just turn this one around like that, lock it back down, and when you turn it around, you can see that there's a groove cut in like that. So you would get your fish hook like that and just run it down like that to sharpen that fishing hook. Now the main reason I'm recommending the Smith sharpening rod is they actually tell you what the grit on this sharpening rod is and it's 400 grit, it's considered medium coarse and you don't need to go anywhere beyond that. If you're just trying to bring back the edge on a perfectly good blade edge, then you don't need to go any finer than 400 grit. Alright, just for comparison sakes, here is the Schrade diamond rod sharpener compared to the Smith. You can see just how much more coarse this rod is compared to the Smith. So you would use this if you needed to remove a lot of steel, like if you had a chip on that knife edge. But for just regular knives that you just are trying to bring that edge back, this 400 grit is perfect. Now there's also another option because I know some people are crazy about their sharpening and they go, well 400, eh. Too gritty, I want to get it down to super polished edge. You can go with the DMT sharpening system. Now these are a little bit more expensive, but they have a whole variety of different grits. So they go from 120 extra coarse all the way to extra fine. And you don't have to get all of these. Like if you're just going to go with the blue, then you go with the red. Or if you get the red, just go with the green. It's not necessary to go each and every step. But if you want to, you can. But what I did was I just hit it with this 400. And then I went over with the 1200 mesh to polish. But when you get these two next to each other, you can see again, you can see grit here, barely see anything there. Almost looks like stainless steel. Well, all right, guys, this has been your up close and personal look at the Smith Diamond Rod Sharpener. If you have a serrated knife edge that you're trying to bring back to life, there's really no need to go beyond 400 grit. This will get you going in the right direction. Well, all right, guys, that's the ending of the video. Remember, if you want to purchase this Diamond Rod Sharpener, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.